Peace of Christ to all. Uh, today in this video, we are going to answer a Muslima, and simply uh, this is not their own, her own claim. She is just quoting from an atheist articles. Muslims are the last one to read. Usually they don't read. You know, rarely you find a Muslim he you know even read, uh, because even their book they don't know how to read it. Their book they, they pray to their God in a language different from their language. Uh, however, uh, and this is a video we will show you a little bit of it just because to give me time to answer uh, she is uh, saying that in Matthew chapter 27 there is two people appear in that chapter and both of them their name is Jesus uh, one is called in the Bible Barabbas and the other one is called Jesus Christ so she is saying what we see in the story there that uh, Barabbas is the one who was afraid is the one who was afraid and the one who was crucified is the other, other one who called himself uh, uh, Christ and she is claiming that Barabbas really is the real Christ he is the one who was afraid and this is a proof that Christ wasn't crucified now the story is full of fabrication and I will show you why but uh, we have to give her her chance to uh, uh, to say to us what she want to say and then we will go to the answer listen carefully please we have to translate it some more the word abbas means father so let's go and read it again okay All right, let's read it one, one, one more time. One more time, one more time. standard version. Whom do you wish... Just wait. This is the this is the version she is reading from. This is a translation. The word version here it means for a translation. So this is what she is reading from, and she is saying this is the only correct translation. She likes it. So we will show her from there that she is fabricating stuff, as usual. So let us go back a little bit. Here we go, so we don't miss anything. Do you wish that I release unto you Jesus, who was called the Messiah, mm -hmm. or the King of the Jews, or Jesus Barabbas? Because it's in the Revised Standard Version, that word Jesus is right before Barabbas in your line here we go this is the word Barabbas and actually not only that she is lying in two things because she said which one you want me to uh, release for you Jesus who is called the king of the Jews and the and the, uh, or, or uh, Jesus Barabbas now here we go the verse in the front of us huh? and we can read together now at the at the feast, uh, the governor was uh, estimated to release uh, for the crowd any one prisoner whom they wanted to be. Uh, let me highlight so people they can follow. Uh, you know, which means they wanted him to be released. Okay, from here, one of their choice he can be released, and they had uh, like to choose one of the prisoners called Barabbas. Where is Jesus Barabbas? So you are fabricating the story again. So this is number one lie. Number one lie. Number two lie. You said that he said, which one you want me to to release for this for you, the King of the Jews or Jesus Barabbas? It doesn't say that. You are lying again. Here we go. When they had gathered, the pirates said to them, who you want me to release to you, Barabbas or Jesus who is called Christ so you are fabricating story again or you let us say you are actually changing words but this is very normal for Muslims so you added Barabbas in here so you added Jesus in here before Barabbas which is not true and you exchange locations of sentence and I will consider that as a mistake maybe now we go we continue in the video and you will see uh, more mistakes to come or more fabrications to come Touch your nose, please. Don't forget. In the Revised Standard Version. Mm -hmm. And the people 
the people wanted Barabbas. Barabbas. Jesus <laughs> Barabbas. Jesus Barabbas. Where it says Jesus Barabbas. <laughs> anyway. Okay. They wanted Jesus, the son of the father. So, so what she's saying, that this is a true Jesus. To prove why? Because his name is the son of the father. The fact this is false uh, for a very simple reason. The word Barabbas, uh, it's not a name. It's a word meaning the son of shame. Some, they come with a translation saying it's a son of father, which is a true, you know. Uh, but those who they are ignorant with the Jewish uh, tradition, they know that this word you use when you want to say the son of shame. Like if you want to insult somebody, you call him Barabbas, which means you are a son of shame, which means uh, like, you know, as if you are saying, uh, 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 you are cut it off, you know, nobody wanna, wanna be relative to you. And the reason of that, people when they do crimes, their families, they cut off their relationship to them and they deny their relationship to those people. That's why if we go and search for the mean of the name Barabbas, you will see Barabbas is coming as the son of shame, the son of shame. And uh, the reason is very simple. You do crimes, your family keep their self away from you for, for two reasons. Why your family keep away uh, their, their self from you? Number one, to protect themselves. Because if you are a criminal, you go kill somebody, the people, they will seek revenge from the family of that person. So what they do, the family, they cut their roots to, to them and they say, he isn't our son no more. We have nothing to do with him. This guy is bringing shame to the family. We don't belong to him. We don't belong to us. So they protect themselves. Same time, they, to preserve their honor. So their daughters, their families, they will not be accused of having a, a child who is, or a son who is a criminal. This is why the, the word Barabbas is used in here, because it's son of shame. And the one who is using it is the Roman leader, because he was a thief who is attacking, uh, 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 most likely attacking uh, uh, Roman soldiers or attacking, you know, he's a, uh, he's a thief. He's like Muhammad, you know, attack people, he steal their money. So he was calling him the son of shame, not the son of father, uh, the same as trying to make it as, oh, this is Jesus who says, I am the son of my father. All right? No. And here, this is not the son of father. This is a humiliation, and this was making fun of uh, of him. And the funny, you will see, uh, she herself in her video, she said that in the top of the cross of Jesus Christ, our Christ, uh, she is saying this is the fake one, according to her. It says the king of the Jews. The king of the Jews and she said in her video Jesus never claimed to be the king of the Jews and uh, Jesus never claimed uh, to, uh, to be uh, uh, never been rebellion uh, and you know actually if you if she and the proof she don't the Muslim don't read even what they are talking about uh, because if she opened the same chapter uh, uh, you know uh, and she just herself, she mentioned the word, the king of the Jews. She said, Jesus never said that he is the king of the Jews, you know. And now she's saying he is the king of the Jews. But anyway, if you open the same chapter, you will see uh, a very obvious proof that this is a fabrication. How we can find that? You see in the in the court in here, they are calling, they are using the uh, two names for two people. Jesus the Christ and Barabbas, Jesus Christ and Barabbas, which means the name Jesus does not appear in here twice for two people, appear only for one person. So we will see in here that when they took Jesus, which, which one is this Jesus? This one they are investigating with him. This is the same one he was with his apostles. She is saying this is the fake Jesus, this is not the one. The real one is Barabbas, but she forgot that the whole story is speaking about how they come to arrest him. He was with his apostles, how apostles, you know, some of them, they run and they hide. So the whole story is speaking about that this is the person who the Christian they worship, and this is the people who, you know, the, uh, they follow, and they came to arrest him, and they arrested him. And suddenly she mixed between Christ and Barabbas. Why? Because both of them, according to what she's saying, both of them, they are uh, called uh, Jesus and Barabbas is the son of father that must be Jesus the Christ the one we Christians should be following uh, when the fact if you read read the chapter from the beginning uh, this is uh, this is Matthew chapter 27 you know uh, uh, if we, if you go to uh, to verse number 26 chapter number 26 and I don't know why 
uh, should you want to go to chapter 26 you know but like what you cut it to pieces you know it's up to you you will see that Jesus is speaking about himself will be crucified cruci crucified and this is is Jesus the one who the Christians they follow he is the one the Christians they listen to those are the disciples of Jesus and he is the one who have passed over with them and he is the one who told them that somebody is going to give him up somebody is going to betray him as we see in here and even who is that one Judas uh, who betrayed uh, him said Judas who betrayed him said uh, is it I master <laughs> He, he said to him, you have said so. Now what Jesus, the one who is with his apostle now, this is now, she cannot deny that this is the true Jesus, right? He is with his apostle. What he, what he is saying, let us see what he is saying. Uh, he, uh, somebody, he will betray him. And uh, 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 this Judas, he ag admit that he is the one. And Jesus continues saying the following. Read with me. Jesus speaking about, the crucifixion of his body, you know, he is going to be crucified. He is going to give his body, and his blood will be shed. You see, take it, take it. This is my body. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave gave it to them, saying, "Drink it, for it all of you, for my for is my blood." Uh, of the covenant which is pure uh, 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 out for many which means his blood is going to be shed but she is saying that the one who is going to be uh, uh, the Barabbas is a true Jesus but Barabbas is the one who was afraid but Jesus in here is saying that his body is going to be crucified is going to be killed and his blood will be shed so that story is very easy to prove that it's fabrication it's a stupid story a stupid claim you Muslims you can't come with anything is bad at all very very funny and actually uh, I don't want to continue more, but actually, but but we can read the whole chapter. You will see that uh, the whole chapter in here is speaking about Jesus, the name Jesus, the name Jesus, the name Jesus, and, and nowhere mentioned purpose. And then Jesus, the one who said he's going to be crucified, he was a crucified. And if we go to chapter twenty-seven, the one she is talking about, let us do that. You will see. After what happened, let us see. Okay, now let us say that Jesus, the the, the one who was afraid, according to her, this is a true Jesus, uh, which is uh, Barabbas. Huh? Let us assume that she is right, but let us read the verses after, because the verses after are saying the opposite. What it says? It says in here, they are saying to him in the cross. Now he's in the cross. Aren't you the one who said he will destroy you? Who will destroy the temple? and build it in three days so let us see now let us see who is the one who said that jesus our lord or barabbas <laughs> so they are make are you to the one who says you are the son of god barabbas he claimed to be the son of god barabbas he claimed to be the whole bible is speaking about this person who claimed to be the one who is going to the, the temple will be de de destroyed and he can build it in three days this is about his crucifixion and now you are saying to me, this is Barabbas? But the whole story is speaking about Jesus Christ who crucified is doing that. Not the one is afraid. And actually in here, the temple destruction is about the, the body of Jesus, how he is going to come from the grave again, which means he will rebuild the temple of God, the body where God is in that body. So that temple is going to be rebuilt again after the crucifixion. And they are making fun of him. Aren't you the one who said, you are going to build a temple in three days? Okay, let's see how you can do that. So Jesus, when they crucified him, he proved that to them and he raised again from the grave after three days. So the whole story is fabrication. It's funny. It's dummy. It's made for a stupid, by a stupid. You know, there's many things she is saying in the video too, like Jesus is not the priest. Well, Jesus, no, Jesus is the priest of the whole world, actually. Priest, who is a priest? Who is the priest? Priest, when, when we speak about priest, it's somebody who is accepted by people to present them, to speak to God. Christ is called all those titles. He called the prophet, 
he's a priest, he's a master, which means like rabbi, priest, uh, all those names, a good, uh, uh, the good shepherd, uh, all those are being given to Jesus, but all of them fit with him. Still he's God because he is a prophet. Who is prophet? The one who prophesied. But God prophesied to us. Who is, who is, the, who is the priest? The one who presents us in front of God. The, the Jesus, he said, the one who sees me, he sees the Father. So he's not only a, a, a priest for us, he is the, the, the highest because he's God himself. He is the God of the priest. Uh, she said that Jesus was not a rebel. You know, Jesus was not rebellion. Uh, Barabbas he was because the Jews, they've been expected the, 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 the Messiah to be a rebellion. First, this is false. Uh, you will not see the Bible saying such a thing. The Bible speaks about the Messiah. Uh, actually, the, the, the whole name of the Messiah is mentioned by name twice in the Old Testament, as I remember. And uh, 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 the Messiah who is going to be, uh, you know, the one who, who establish everything is the one who mentioned in Matthew uh, chapter 22. If you go to Matthew chapter 22, verse number uh, uh, 44, we will see the following. This is Matthew 22. And here you can read from verse, actually, <clears throat> we can read from not necessarily verse number 24, uh, 44. You can read from before. While the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them. Now, I want to ask this Muslim, which Jesus? Which Jesus? We will find out in a second who is Jesus. It is the one who was, a key, he is the one who claimed to be God. She said that Barabbas is the one who was crucified, and Barabbas is not the one who is claiming to be God. It was the other guy. And we Christians, we've been fooled, you know. The real Barabbas is the real Jesus, the real Christ. Very false. Because look what Jesus in here is saying. He asked the Jews, he said to them, what do you think of, what do you think of Christ? What do you think of Christ? They said, he is the son of David. He says unto them, How then doth David in spirit call him Lord? Saying, The Lord said unto my Lord, said, etc. So Jesus in here is saying to them, You think that they, Jesus is the son of David, but the fact Jesus, the Christ, is the Lord of David. Who is that? Who is speaking about who? He's speaking about himself. And that continue, and that is the same one who was crucified, according to her. And that to prove that this is our Jesus. Because he is the one who claimed to be the king of the Jews. He is the king of David. He is the Lord of David. Not only the king of David, he is the, the Lord of David. He is the God of David. And that's why the Jews, they could not answer him. They, uh, so then, uh, if David then call him Lord, call him God, how is he his son? So none of them was able to answer him. Which means they could not really uh, give any explanation. His, his, his answer was very strong to the point nobody will have an answer. How, how he is the son of David and then David is calling him God. That uh, doesn't make sense. You know, he is the son of David but David calling him God. So Jesus is saying to them, you have wrong understanding of Christ. Christ is the Lord of David. He is the son of David by birth, like from Mary, yes. But he is the Lord, the king, the, the king of kings. He is the God of David. And this is the same person who later was crucified. Uh, and we can find the same story in the same uh, uh, translation you are reading from. Because simply this is verse number, chapter number 27. We can go back to number 22. So uh, in here, if we, if we ask ourselves, uh, when, he, when they said to him, which one I should have crucified? The one who called, is called the Christ? In the whole Bible, who is called the Christ? I challenge you to show me one name different from Jesus. Just one. You will not find. So you are lying again. And she said, oh, there is uh, many people are called anointed one. What, what, what anointed mean? First of all, the word the Christ in the Bible is not only just meaning uh, the, uh, you know, let me show you just because we don't want to make speech. We want to show proofs. Now I went to uh, to uh, a Jewish website, so nobody can say I'm, I'm quoting from Christians. Uh, uh, 
you know, uh, this is uh, called O'Brien uh, Publications.com. I think it's a Jewish website. So you will see in here that the, 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 the Christos or the Word of Christ is the one who is anointed for a high office who present, uh, 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 you know, uh, people on earth in front of God. Uh, you will see in here, like he can be a high priest, he can be a king. And that person, he had no earthly superior and we are subject, subject only to God. Thus, only a high priest, he, this is the book name, and a prophet and a king would be anointed into the office. So this is all goes for Jesus because Jesus was called king of the Jews. That's why they were making fun of him. He was called priest, as we see in uh, the book of uh, Hebrew. And I decided to show it to you from the same Bible you are quoting from. This is Hebrew 9. He is called high priest. All right. So G Jesus is called such a name. As you see in here, verse number 11. But when Christ appeared as a high priest, this number one, and she said, uh, Christ, what uh, What else? Yeah, she said the Christ never been called. He's not a king. The, the Christ is going to be a king of the Jews. When in the same chapter she is reading from, it says clearly that they said to him, Are you the king of the Jews? Are you the Messiah? You know? He said, yes, I am the Messiah, and I am the king. Let me show you. Do you see it? Now, was Jesus, was Jesus called a prophet? Yes, he was called a prophet. All those names, you know, I don't want to go all over. So, it's a very silly argument. It's foolish. But as long now she mentioned that she accept this translation to be telling the true story, that means, uh, actually, before we go there, before we go there, uh, I want people to remember that it's not only just a name like you know let us say we have 20 people in the uh, in, in the court all of them their names as Jesus the Bible in the story the story in the Bible is not stopping just by saying uh, they free one and they crucify one the story continue the same person they are talking about he came from the grave he came back and he saw Mary outside he spoke to them then he went to his apostles and they spoke to him and then Thomas, he said, if I don't see him by my own eyes, I cannot believe it. Then Jesus, he saw his, he saw, he showed his hands. So his story is, it's not stopping there. Those people who they are his apostles, they saw him before he was crucified. They saw him after he was crucified. So who cared about the name? Let us say there's one billion Jesus was there in that court. Still that Jesus who came out from the grave, he came back to them is the one who is their master because they know him from his look from his face from everything and even his mother she was in the front of the cross when he died are you saying that uh, his mother she will be confused about the jesus who is jesus just because of the name are you going to say peter he will not recognize which one is the true jesus because there's two jesus now so all those apostles who they are real witnesses witnesses proving the story to be accurate at the same time, let me give you a proof from the Quran. And just to show you how silly and how stupid Muslims are. Because the Quran says the following. In chapter 4, verse 157. And remember, this is not my words. This is the Quran, 157. And Allah, he forgot to mention the story about Jesus except in two lines. Allah is so busy. He have the time to tell us the story of Tom and Jerry hiding from the king of Solomon. The ant is scared she is telling her friends to hide, but he forget to tell us what happened to Jesus. Just two lines. What the two lines is saying? Disaster. That Allah, he made someone look like Jesus. And he made the Jews think that this is the true Christ. According to your story, the Jews, they were not confused which one is the true Christ. According to you, they freed Barabbas, who is the true Christ. According to you, there is two Jesus according to Quran. There is only one, one true Christ. And that one was released from jail according to Quran? No. He was released from court? No, they did not even arrest him in the Quran. According to the Quran story, when they came to arrest him or to kill him, okay, 
Allah, he cloned someone look like Jesus. He made him look exact like him. I'm not the one saying that, by the way. It's what your prophet taught the Muslims. So when they came to crucify him, they could not crucify him for a very simple reason. Because they could not even arrest him. Why? Because Allah, he put the likeness of an associate of their own, the Jews, was given uh, the, the, the resemblance of Jesus. In other words, God's cast, which means Allah, cast his Jesus likeness to him. So according to the Quran story, there is nobody released and there is no two people had their name is Jesus and people they are different. There is one person he was arrested and they thought this is the Christ. And the other one, Allah took him to heaven before even to arrive to him. He saved him. And according to the Quran, the Christians and the Jews, they witnessed the crucifixion of someone look exactly like their master. Are you following with me, Balbula, the Muslim? Because the Quran is saying he looked exactly, he resembled Jesus. So the Christian, they have no doubt that this is really the Christ. Why? Because he looked exactly like him. Which is a proving from your claim that Quran is a false religion. Why? Because simply the Quran is speaking about not two or three people get arrested and then one of them was freed and that was Jesus. The Quran is speaking about the true Jesus according to you. The Quran is speaking about that Jesus, the true Jesus, was taken to heaven before anyone even get close to him. Which means he was not arrested, he was not taken to court, the ruler did not speak to him, nobody even get close to him. And as long as this is the story you agree with in chapter 27, in the way you like it, let us go with you. This is mean the Quran is fabricated the story. Very obvious. In the same time in here, we ask ourselves, uh, why Allah make uh, Jesus uh, cloned by somebody? Shouldn't we ask ourselves why? Uh, Allah, he took Jesus to heaven. So why he is cloning somebody? Why he is deceiving us? Like, isn't it Allah going, uh, don't Allah knows that the future people, they will think that the true Jesus, uh, the one they see him in the cross, and that is the one who was crucified. Because when you make someone look like Jesus, and I am a follower of Christ, and I see Christ was crucified, I will believe it. You know, what is witnessing in the court mean? It's you to say what you saw, right? So let us say we are in the front of this cross and according to the story of the Quran and we saw someone look like Jesus was crucified. Someone look exactly like Jesus. I'm not just saying look like, exactly. You see, he cast his, like, his likeness. I'm not the one saying that. Allah cast the likeness of Jesus on that person. And you know, Allah is the best to clone. Like, don't tell me Allah, he uh, missed something. For sure, he cast exact likeness. It's God, right? Allah is God. Aren't you Muslim believe in that? So he made that person look exactly whatever the word exactly mean. Now, how I'm going to know that this is not Jesus? Which means the one who wrote the Bible story there is saying the truth that yes, the Christ was crucified because your God saying so. But according to your God, it was someone look exactly like the Christ. Which means that the true Christ was saved but the false Christ was crucified, but the false Christ still looked exactly, exactly like the real Christ. According to you, the story is not like that, and this proved the Quran to be a fabricated story. So let us make it short, even the, 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 the video took time. Uh, you know, from the beginning to the end, the whole Bible is speaking about Christ, crucifixion, Christ who shed his blood, even in the same chapter as we showed you, chapter 27, speaking about the blood of Jesus, how he's going to be shed, and how even the prophet Jeremiah saying that, and they took 30 pieces of silver, and this is exactly what this person did, the Judah, as we see in the same chapter you are reading from. And that is shown us that those Muslims, they did not read They did not read the chapter. They are quoting words from articles. They focus only in the word Barabbas and that's all. When it's very clear that he is going to be betrayed and who is the one who will betray him 
and how his blood is going to be shed. And even Jesus, he said to them, uh, breaking it, breaking the bread, and says, "This is my body, was going to be broke for you, broke, which means it's going to be sacrificed for you, and this is my blood, which is going to be shed for you." So how you say, "This is not the same one," and you come with the fabrication story, which is absolutely false. And then the story continue about the earth has a have an, uh, there's an earthquake, and the the rocks split, and the tomb was broken. And then Jesus was he resurrected himself. So how come you remember from all the story only the word Barabbas? Because that will sweet you to 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 create a confusion because you are a confused person. No wonder your prophet he said that Muslim women they have half a brain. And I think he was right in this case because he was speaking about Muslim women only, because only actually half a brain people doesn't matter if they are women or men, they follow such a religion proving them horny women in heaven, 70,000 child boy for sex, a lot of wine, river of honey, river of milk. At the same time, endless penis, which is very shameful for a prophet of God to make such a promise, proving to us that he is nothing but a pimp of Satan trying to seduce people to religion of sex. And we know that the God holiness cannot really uh, be, have to do with those, any of those promises. The God cannot be the one who seduced me by sex. This is what Satan does. God do not seduce me by money. This is what Satan does. All of those promises you will find it in Islam. Gold, silver in heaven, food, sex, slaves, boys for sex, all those kind of things. It's material promises. And this is exactly how Satan, you know, fool people into sin and to, and to, and to you know, losing their salvation. I hope the video was good to... Uh, uh, for all of you guys and if you like it feel free to download it and post it anywhere you want and just to let you know soon we are going to start again I hope uh, our debate TV uh, broadcast we will broadcast a new stream and uh, people they are welcome to uh, be with us in the show and uh, to share with us and to call us and even to debate us if you are a Muslim or debate us and we see you with more videos Christ is Lord Islam is false thank you